I mean, he's never even mentioned again no, anything. No. He said, whatever you thought was going to happen on this trip, it ain't happening now. This shit is done now. <laughs> I mean, it might have happened right. until the goddamn not, 50 showed up. It was yeah, like, yeah. It's like, well, I came all this way with you here to <laughs> you visit your parents and be a support for you. And, yeah. And so, so get back on the trains and really. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> she dumped his ass quick. I mean, dumped him as a friend. For real. Shit, he's not, not, he not even a friend zone. Yeah, I know. That mother. That mother Phantom zone right yeah, now. Yeah. She said, we're in the friend zone, in the yeah. phantom zone. Get your ass out of this time zone. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I don't want you in the friend zone because it'll give you the, the illusion that you can escape. Hell yeah. <laughs> Somebody say you the one that shot 59 times. <laughs> 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 We watch so many of these bad movies that watching them again under these circumstances, uh, I walk away actually liking a lot of these movies now. I, you know what? I won't go as far as to say I like them, <laughs> but I don't hate them anymore. Yeah, like, like I, like I come to like, like a, like a come to terms with them, like a detente. Like, all right, I see you. Nah, man, I, I'm in, I'm endeared to these movies, man, because of y'all. This is not one of those times <laughs> right here. <laughs> Is this it? This place? This life? Why don't you let me deal with it? And People, that is get rich or die trying. And I die every time I try to get through this movie, man. And this is only my second time. I'll tell y'all something, man. I, you know, this movie has some hilarious moments in it. It really does. And it's just ridiculous. Exactly. But it, man, this movie just mostly irritated me. And it takes me back to a period of Hollywood where parts of that business really bugged the shit out of me. I, I, I look back and I'm like, damn, how did we get to those times? Mm -hmm. With, we with our dignity. Thought we were past all that. Yeah, yeah. And this is a goes to remind you, man, no, <laughs> not completely. No, no. It's like somebody going like, I'm going to do a remake of Gone with the Wind. Yeah. You know, like, I, I don't <laughs> see that shit. <laughs> yeah, this so sure. this as, as much progress as we made around the time this movie came out, we were still somewhat in the darkness. No disrespect to 50 Cent because this man has he's made a great life for himself. He's he's a great marketer. He's a businessman. He's done Television a lot. Producer. Television producer. This man, I actually have a lot of respect for Curtis Jackson, man. I really do. And I'm not saying that in some sort of facetious, smart ass kind of way. I re I'm very sincere when I say that. Uh, but this bullshit right here, I can, I've, I've, I tried. I saw it again. I, I thought maybe it'd be better. I, will, I can't say it's not as bad as I remember. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying much though. Well, he's not as bad as I remember. And I thought, well, maybe this movie, and then real quick it went, no, 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 no. Yeah. It right the first time. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, this this is the story of 50 Cent, but it's, uh, it's sort of a semi fictionalized version of him, a semi autobiographical version, sort of in the reign of, of Purple Rain yeah. or Eight Mile, where these guys kind of had a little bit of truth to the stories in there, but again, they're a little bit exaggerated to where it's not really them. 50 Cent says it's 75% accurate. I doubt that. Yeah, I know. I'm, you yeah. know, like his name, I'm going to say it's about 50 Cent. <laughs> yeah, when they, when they say 75, it means 50 or 45%. Yeah, right, right. And, and I read that the screenwriter was pissed. He was like, this is not the script I wrote. Oh, uh, wow. 50 Cent is legendary for getting shot nine times and living. Now, that alone is an elevator pitch sure. for Hollywood. Right. Dude gets shot nine times and lives and goes on to make a success out of himself. You got my attention. Continue. That alone right there will probably get you a meeting with an executive. Uh, the other reason why is because, well, you know, let's be real. Eight Mile was a hit. Hey, All right, come on, man. How you feel? Hey, Shit, he even uh, fit the city, even borrow some of his crew. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like you, like, like, like big man back there. <laughs> oh yeah, the black Sammy Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this dude is it. Uh, he's a Fifty Cent uh, uh, movie. Great actor. Uh, what's that? He's a no, great he actor. is. And where he plays our uh, uh, henchman to the rap dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, man. How you feel? If you had, sees everything you ever wanted. And see, the thing with this movie, because this movie was a big hit, but there was a formula that they had for this movie that they hoped to, they they hoped to recreate with Get Rich or Die Trying. Thing with this is that they were hoping to create the same success because not only is 50 Cent 
<laughs> mentored by Eminem. Eminem is his mentor. Mm -hmm. uh, but they had the same formula where they take a hip hop celebrity and they do his origin story, but they have an Oscar nominated director do it so that they can use both names, the hip hop artist and the director, they can use it to bring in several demographics, mainly of that who follow hip hop and those other people, those, those uh, cineast, those cinema people and critics, cinephiles. who are those cinephiles who would normally turn their nose up to, to such drivel as this, but because, oh my God, who's directed? Well, then it must be good. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's it's no longer just a mere hip hop story. Oh, it is a cautionary tale of the streets. <laughs> yes. Right, right, right. <laughs> Give, giving us giving us a look into the lives of the urban folk. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. This is my irritation with this movie. Well, this was a hard one to get through because, like I said, first of all, and yeah, laugh a minute like Mac and me and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. actually pretty dull in a lot of parts and this script is everywhere. But what really bothered me with this, and it didn't bother me enough, enough to where I can't laugh at it, but you know, the thing with this movie is, what they're really doing is that this is another movie where they try to come off as deep, showing the realities of black urban life, when actually what they're doing is they're just, they're just cashing in on the negative images of black people, man, and black suffering. Keep in mind, this came out in 2005. To, to further my point, a year before we had this gym. From the time you arrive at the gate. You doing good? Yes. You feel wonderful. Till the moment you meet the crew. Hey, Captain. Captain. At ease, ladies. Soul Plane oh. just came out a year before. Mm. So they said, we know what you black folk like. You like sure. dumb shit. Sure. Or you yes. like, or you like the, you like all that hood stuff, all those, all those gangster hood movies. Yeah, well also with the director, Jim Sheridan, he, coming from Ireland, right, looked Ireland. at all this from an outsider's point of view and was fascinated by it. And yeah. was, was dying to work with 50 Cent because he has that, he doesn't know like how this actually relates to black people in America. To him, it's all glamorized and like, I want to jump on sure. this, I want to do this. Again, this is a dude who's fascinated, like we got damn National Geographic or yeah, something. Yeah, it's fetishism. Yeah. and and. That's another thing. They got a white man to come in who, as you say, is an outsider of this to come in and direct. Even if even all like the, you know, these hood movies it's our stories and they got it through his eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. Curtis, uh, Curtis Jackson was the one that came in and told his story. But wow, really? You had this dude come in and direct it again because they wanted to bring in different demographics. Uh, yeah. I mean, not even a, a white American, a white Irish guy. Yeah. And that, that, that's kind of your point there, too, because. You could even say like, well, this white guy, but he is from Detroit or he is from this, but he has seen some of this go around. But no, he's from Ireland. Yeah. So he's seen it from his point of view is from movies and yeah. TV right. shows. And the thing that's really harmful about these movies, I'm not going to harp on it. We're going to the, we're gonna get into the discussion. But the things that are really harmful about these kind of movies, and, the, and this is why I am so bothered by certain portrayals. This is why I care so much about representation is because it, to give you an idea of how these kind of movies, these kind of images shape the perception of people around the world, Africans come over here and be oh. like, damn, you American black people are crazy. Oh yeah. They, you, yeah. they come over here saying, you scare us. Oh yeah, no, no, they, they look down on us because they see this and they think this is what all we are. To get into the actual discussion of the review, uh, the thing is for them wanting to cash in on this whole gangster image that they got going on, they still punk out and can't commit. Listen, I might not like it, you know, I might actually loathe it, but if you're going to do it, commit to it. Sure. You know, don't, don't be no bitch and try to go halfway with it. <laughs> I mean, because that's what they do here. Because um, in this movie, Marcus, who's 50 Cent's character, Marcus loves bragging about being a gangster. Mm -hmm. And that's that hard A, <laughs> gangster. I love, I'm a gangster. You know, he gets into a fight with his grandpa. You old man, I'm a gangster. Go end up just like your mama. At least mama's not here on her knees washing floors like you. Roy, don't you speak to me like that. I'm about to get your old ass beat. <laughs> what are you going to do? Don't you hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> I, I'm still trying to figure out what 50 said, man. <laughs> man my mama ain't lived like no second class. I'm a gangster grandpa and I'm proud of it. I'm a gangster grandpa and I'm proud of it. You know, whenever he, every time he meets somebody, especially a girl, talking about, what, what do you do? Yo, I'm a gangster. So what do you do? 
I'm a gangster. <laughs> Shit, he got, I think he got business cards. Yeah. <laughs> a gangster. That says it on he's, got a w, he's, he's gangster. A, gangster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got a W2 on there. Come yeah, on, gang. Yeah. Have Uzi. He will travel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's soft. Oh, don't say soft, Corey. Just say he's the gangster with a heart with of gold. A heart. Yeah. You know, because <laughs> like yeah, the thing with the movie is their bankable star, <laughs> Curtis Jackson, 50 Cent, we, we gotta like him. Mm -hmm. We can't be walking out with m moral confusion, yeah, dilemmas, right. and <laughs> internal conflict. It's like, oh, well, I don't know what to think about this guy. He kills people, but he's trying to do the right thing. You know, yeah, we, no, we, you, we gotta feel sympathy for him when he gets shot nine times. Yeah. We, we have to want him to pull through as opposed to go, oh good, there's another one off the streets. Yeah. Right, right. You know, we, we, yeah, we can't leave the theater talking about what that mother <laughs> coming. You know, the, the you know, uh, uh, so that means that, and you know, in his gangster lifestyle, you know, the thing is, as as gangster as he is, hey man, you can't kill nobody. <laughs> you know, you can't do what gangsters do. <laughs> He's, you know, and he always has to like let, you know, he has to be, again, he has to be not just likable, but he has to be kind of sweet about things. Really, you know, really nice about things. Like, you know, he's doing a hardcore robbery. Well, he's telling everybody, get the on the floor, what you looking at? I'll blow your goddamn head off. You keep looking at me. You know, he has to look at the kid up against the wall and let him know like, hey, you know what? I'm just playing. It's going to be all right. A I'm, little wink. I'm okay. I'm I mean, okay. There's some guys in my crew that are wild cards. Yeah, I don't but, know about but, them. But hey, kid, you know what? Trust me. Trust your old Uncle 50. You're going to be all right. <laughs> Uncle 50. Make one move and I'm going to blow your head off. Hey, it's okay. And the, and the kid is like, you still have a gun pointed at me. <laughs> right, right. A fucking wink is not going to make me feel better. Meanwhile, meanwhile the kid's pissing his <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. You got you you got a loaded gun pointed at my face, but that wink. Oh, I feel much better now, Uncle Fifty. Thank you. Hey, can you can you read me a bedtime story after this shit? Wait, Sam. Wait, is that code for shoot me in the yeah. face? I don't know what that is. We confronts a rival gang member, one of the Colombians that shot his friend, trying to kill him, by the way, but missed. And hey, only. Only shot him in the vertebrae to where he can't walk no more. Oh man, you know the gangster thing to do would be to find his ass and shoot him. And this time not make the mistake he did, this time kill his ass. That's gangster. Please, please don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. Oh! <laughs> You're like, he, even the guy I'm like, oh, you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it, could you, you pussy? <laughs> Hey, that was, he listen. Come, you know, that, I gave I gave that, that that guy what I gave him. That was pretty hardcore, man. Compared to what I do next, because to get back at some uh, to get back at some other rivals. Okay, I'm incorrect. You know what? To get back at some of these other other rivals out here, he does kill. Don't kill him. Oh. I don't that way. I'm humiliated. People, he gonna kill them with. Humiliation, not humiliation. Humiliation. Did he say humiliation? He said, he said yeah. I'm gonna humiliate him. <laughs> I, didn't say, I didn't hear no H or no, no U. No, no H is no, no, H. No, no, H or no he U. Said, I, guess gonna... that, I guess those are silent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or maybe that's slang, you know, I don't know. Nah, I ain't slang. Yeah. That's him. I'm gonna humiliate him. I'm gonna humiliate him. I'm gonna humiliate him. Oh, no. <laughs> Terrence Howard's like, <laughs> Yeah. Does that mean does that mean you'll kill him? Because that's what I'm asking you to do right now. <laughs> and he's a you, thing is, man. I mean, maybe he can't, maybe he's not as gangster as he should be because he's just a terrible criminal all around. When I say terrible, I'm not talking about like scary or you know he's that good at being a criminal. No, he's he's he, it's a job he's not good at. Sure, he's terrible. Yeah, not reluctant. He's bad at his job. Look at this when they go do this caper right here. Relax. Take it easy. What's missing, y'all? You go do a crime, what's missing? Mask. A mask, yeah. yes. I'll be home around five. Everybody freeze. I want y'all to know I'm Curtis Jackson, AKA 50 Cent. Yeah. So scared <laughs> I will be your robber for tonight. <laughs> do you have any questions? I robbed, I robbed you have any questions? My email is oh, yes. right. Curtis Jackson. My social security is. is. Oh, hold on, let me get, get, get a shot of this real quick. <laughs> do y'all take credit cards over here? Let me get my Instagram. You, come, come yeah. <laughs> You're robbing us, man. What the oh, hell you want doing? a selfie? Cool. And to show you how bad, I mean him and his crew, horrible at this job, man. Because there's a moment where <laughs> they, they're in the middle of a robbery. <laughs> in the middle of a robbery. Somehow, some way, Marcus, 50 Cent's character, says something to Terrence Howard's character, oh, whose name is Bama. He says something to him, 
to hurt his feelings. In the mem- in the middle of this robbery, it's like, why you say that to me, man? Why you do that, man? You hurt, man, you gonna say that to me, man? I love you, man. They decide to have a heart to heart in the middle of this robbery. In the middle of, the robbery. In the middle of a robbery. Like, I'm sorry. I. Can we address this? Yeah, yeah. Can, we, can we do this outside? God damn it. But I fucking love you. I do anything. He's like, really? <laughs> He's like, Jesus, man, come on. He's like, really like man, why didn't I, why did I, why did I keep my goddamn yeah. mouth shut? Why did I say anything? He said, you know what? I don't kill people. I might kill you right now. <laughs> Crazy. I'm your f- man. Don't call me. <laughs> oh, oh man, <laughs> man, we were almost done with it's, this man. This is like, it's like that D. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 It was something, but yeah. man, you hurt my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> man, we were almost done crazy. with this like, man. Shit, I'm that you know what we're doing right yeah. now, right? You know where you're at. I said, let's go. All right, that's all I am. If you're gonna be a man, be a man and shoot me, mother. Shut up, all of you! Shut up! This yeah. was like, you know what I had to know. I, know. I was waiting for a moment to break in, yeah. but I can't take this no yeah. more. You know, all of y'all shut the. <laughs> He's not a gangster because he can't be a. He can't even be a proper criminal, man. No mask. Yeah, yeah. He's, grandfather said something to him one day, just got on his nerves, and he forgot that he had coke in his sock and went <laughs> took it to school. I wasn't thinking straight when I went back to school that afternoon. Damn. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's, that's not off. mine, you know. <laughs> also, that, that couldn't have been comfortable. Yeah. Forget that was a, <laughs> People, it is oh, in his and, sock. And you're 35 years old going to high school. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. The movie did show they they did they did a good job showing why he did become a criminal, uh, why he did have to turn to crime, because. He, uh, his, this is a long story with his mother. We'll talk about his mother later. His mother was a drug dealer. She had a thing going on. She had to drop him off. Well, actually, I didn't even drop him off. After her death, she had to go live. Or he, sorry, Curtis had to go live. And Curtis, I'm calling him by his real name. Mm-hmm. Curtis the Jackson. Marcus. I'm talking Marcus. His character, Marcus. Marcus had to go live with his grandparents. And when he got there, man, uh, he would have been better off in prison, man. <laughs> Life, he, she, he was shitty. He should have checked himself into an orphanage and put himself in the system, foster home. Because when he gets there, man, uh, to be around. well, it's that man. There's about fifty kids in that house, and it's in his heavy competition. Uh, first of all, they don't give him hand me downs; they give him garbage, like these sneakers. They give him sneakers with holes in them oh, right man. there. The Salvation Army would throw that away. When he goes, that he's starving. He's almost got malnutrition because he can't eat because it's so competitive at the at the di- at the breakfast, dinner, and lunch table. Mm-hmm. You know, either the bigger kids are snatching his food away, or the little ones, like little gremlins, are taking all the food. Hey, come on, man! Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like slopping hogs, man. Yeah. Look, look at this damn yeah, gremlin yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to be yeah. quick at the yeah. table. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know what he's thinking, man. They drove his little ass crazy. He didn't know what to do. He just had to get back at them somehow. I don't know what the hell he was thinking by by, by doing this, but he oh, can't. I get it. I've done that. <laughs> he can't sleep because they got these kids stacked on top of each other in the bedroom, and they're kicking them out of the bed. So he's like, "Oh, all right, I got something for your ass." He goes, he goes into the, go to the kitchen to get a bucket of water, a pan, a pan of water, and just decides, you know what? If if I'm not sleeping, no, nobody's sleeping. <laughs> get your ass! <laughs> you slow too. Now that was actually funny. In the that movie. was funny. I laughed so hard at that, and, and of course he gets his ass beat. Shit, I'm a steal that. What happened? Get your ass. Come here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the plan was. He didn't really think it through. No. He got to grab a whole part then. Cause, yeah, because he, he should have yeah. ran as soon as he threw the water. Yeah. <laughs> but he wanted to see his work, right? Yeah, he wanted to see. <laughs> he wanted to see his ass soaking wet. Like I said, he got to get his ass with the ball work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You won't get me out there bed again. <laughs> Beat my ass. I can always get more water. Right. <laughs> they had to move him down to the basement because he was causing trouble. You won't get one good night's sleep. Man, I'll tell you this. The kid that they cast as uh, as, as young Marcus, I forgot the actor's name, but he was, that's actually a great uh, he's, he's casting a good choice. He was from Losing Isaiah. Yeah, it's and he's, he's a man now, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the, just the similarities in the physical features was actually really good, yeah. man. So the writing in this, ba- in this movie is so bad, man. Uh, especially for the characters in this film. I mean, everything is bad, but the characters are written so bad. Um, 
so the, the 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 romantic subplot in here is just it's just ridiculous. It's 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 that is written so poorly. So he has this girl that he was in love with as a kid, Charlene, who's played by Joy Bryant. Now that's not Joy Bryant right there. That's a young girl that's playing her. Uh, but we get the beginning of the story. So it starts out with young Charlene and uh, her parents are worried about her, not because of the violence that's going on in the neighborhood, but because of that damn mark that's making up all these nasty ass lyrics. Right, right. Anywhere you want to go, girl, I'm down to go. Yep. Marcus. I hate you. Oh, oh, you hate me. Well, I'll tell you what, you pack your little ass up and get the fuck on out of here. <laughs> oh, God. I, I love that. Like, kids don't know how to win their parents over. No. And even she's like, you know, I should have shut the fuck up. Yeah. Where's he sending her? What you do? What's that? Where they sending her? Uh, I think to a grandmother or something or like an, that. Or an aunt or, or something. Yeah, no, Just yeah, I think a, it's an aunt. A, a, away. Away no. from Marcus. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all this damn violence is going in the neighborhood. There's some nasty lyrics that Marcus made that they had to get her the hell out of there. And plus, she told Daddy, I hate you. Like, well, she, you know, I wasn't, okay. too, I wasn't too fun to your ass either, so get the fuck on out. Uh, I, was, I was this close to giving you mercy and letting you stay. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you say some shit like that, yeah, well, you got to go. Of course, some fancy shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got right yeah. Yeah. Said, Don't you ever talk like that. You never talk like that again, goddamn. Plus, he's her stepdad, so he's like, uh. Yeah, no, nah, but this bitch ain't gonna do this to me. <laughs> yeah, no, hell no. Nah. I'm waiting to get rid of that. I married while. you, not, not her. <laughs> And she really is looking like, yeah, I bet I'll shut my goddamn mouth next time. <laughs> she didn't look like that. She didn't look like this, like, oh, okay, so well, where are we going? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she yelling yeah. told me, like, yeah. Like, lessons on how and when to shut the up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she didn't, she even looked like, well, that's on me. <laughs> well, well, that's the end of me. Yeah. <laughs> Burn that bridge. <laughs> yeah, looking at the cab driver, start taking her whatever the like, I don't, as long as she ain't here. <laughs> the stepdad's like, Ooh, I've been waiting on this bitch to cross the line too. And now I got it. Yeah. I knew she's gonna do it sooner or later. Now, now I so, can do what I want. So now uh, she goes away, and, and you know what? And it it honestly was a a good choice. It was a it, it did work out well for her. She left and she went to a she went to a dance school, got herself a nice education. But she comes back to visit her mother, and uh, when she comes back, as you can see. By the very <laughs> surprise, the pleasantly surprised look on her face, like, "Oh, Marcus, you gotten so big!" Oh man, hey, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> <That's what you're laughs> she actually keep this in mind. She comes back with another dude that goes to school with her. Marcus Greer. Yeah, what you doing right here? How you doing? Hi. What you doing right here? Um, I just came to see my mother. We were teaching a dance class over at Charlene's old school. He's like, I want. Talking to you. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you still here? Yeah, who the f you here? I mean, he's never even mentioned again no, or anything, no. though. Whatever you thought was going to happen on this trip, it ain't happening now. This shit is done now. I mean, it might have happened right. until it's goddamn 50 showed up. It was like, yeah. He's like, well, I came all this way with you here to <laughs> you visit your parents and be a support for you. And, yeah. And wow, that's so, a, so get back on the trains and really. Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. <laughs> she dumped his ass quick. I mean, dumped him as a friend. For real. Shit, he's not, he, he not even a friend zone. Yeah, I know. That mother. That mother Phantom zone right yeah, now. Yeah. She said, we're in the friend zone, we're in the yeah. phantom zone. Get your ass out of this time zone. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I don't want you in the friend zone because it'll give you the, the illusion that you can escape. Hell yeah. Right. Somebody <laughs> said you're the one that shot 59 times. <laughs> <laughs> You'll, I'll have my revenge, 50. You'll get yours. Seize him. <laughs> Seize him. <laughs> like, he's right, he's right now. You might be 50 cents, but I have nine bullets for your ass. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to shop. It's a goddamn origin story. <laughs> there is no, there is no chemistry. There is no romantic build up in this relationship. No. Oh, like, really? Thing is, she man, she just like bad boys. That's all. Marcus is a gangster rapper. That he is. <laughs> yeah. That's hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, yeah. I, I love Jim Sheridan, but dude, cut away. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was way too, that was yeah. painful, oh, yeah. that, 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 that shot. And there's, there's a lot of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of that in here. And here's, you know, here's the thing, man. On break. She just on break. She's supposed to go back to school. Oh, She's shit. like, f*** 
Yeah, yeah, no, I ain't. She immediately fell in love with the drug dealer. Yeah, she, she, my man got some leg room on the way yeah. back. Let me say, she yeah. ain't going back with him. No, she ain't. She <laughs> that dance career. Yeah, shit. The only the only other time they mentioned that is when she said, "Yeah, I don't do that shit no more." You still talk about that oh, dance stuff? Oh, oh, that dance oh, shit. No, I don't do that, that no more. Yeah, nah. even Marcus brings it up. Like, what about your dance yeah, career? I don't, like, yeah, I don't do that shit no more. She, she's like, "What are you a bitch?" Yeah, being your girlfriend. Yeah. It's the highest honor I could possibly yeah, achieve. Yeah. Right, 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 shit. Right, exactly. Yeah, shit. Let me twerk in a video. I'm good. I'll do that dance. Why would I be with that guy who making good grades and going to smoke <laughs> this life? <laughs> yeah. Sell out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She don't go back to that shit at all. And uh, you know, and I'm not judging drug drug dealers here. I ain't saying I ain't saying shit, but that but I'm just saying there's nothing here to explain this relationship. It, it, there's really not. They, <laughs> they just kind of forced it. It's, it's just one of those things like <laughs> what they it, do. it needs to be in the script. So it's it's almost like like if you go like, all right, 50, what what part of this actually happened? And you're like, well, this was this girl. Yeah, the abridged version. Can somebody interpret for it? He said that he never had this girlfriend thing going on. Oh, okay, okay, I believe that. Just like anything else, it's a it's a cheap storyline. You know, it's a cheap way to get us to care for a character more because now we want we want to root for them in their relationship. Yes, you know, so it's a shortcut. Again, you know, other than him being a bad boy, you know, what's the appeal? I don't know what it is. Even when they go back to his apartment. Jesus, he's a nasty mother man. He know oh, that's no. goddamn a whole pizza on the floor. Can you turn the light on? It's grimy in here right now. God damn. I stepped oh, on it. Stepped on. A whole pizza. Apparently slices of pepperoni pizza on the floor just turns her ass on because she sees that and she's like, yeah, let's. <laughs> and that's when, and from there they go at it. Like, again. Man, that's that, bullshit. And there was, again, there's no lead up to them having sex other than stepping over that pizza. Honestly, at, at that time, Joy Bryant was in a lot of movies where that was what she did. <laughs> what, uh, Antoine Fisher. Yeah, yeah. What's Antoine that? Antoine Fisher. Yeah, yeah. She was always that girlfriend uh, that was sought after and was immediately had sex <laughs> with whoever the, the lead was. Again, to make you care more, to rush those emotions, you know, after that, after that one night, that one fateful night of having sex. I'm pregnant. She pregnant. Oh, <laughs> she pregnant. Oh, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Get rich and kiss my ass. <laughs> Come on, man. She's just there to, to exchange dialogue with Marcus. Who, Joy? Oh, Joy Bryant. Yeah, Joy, Joy Bryant, man. She's just an extension of him. She, you know, she's an accessory. She, she might as well be dangling off of one of his chains around his neck, man. Uh, yeah, no, she's, she's a prop. She she has a baby, so oh now he has a family and something to care for. Yeah, it's like, something to fight for. Yeah, it's like you you haven't changed at all. You're also, still the same person you always were. Exactly. You still cleaned that piece. And, and also, uh, uh, because he has a family, now we get the villain something to threaten. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yeah. right. Now, now the stakes are higher. Yes, and exactly. The, and now the stakes you left on the floor. No, no, no. <laughs> and you know they're down there. <laughs> you know they're still down there. He ain't cleaned nothing up. The treatment of black women in this movie oh, is just is terrible, man. It's terrible. Uh, you know, they're just they're just props, man, or types that we always see in these kind of movies, man. Especially with the black female characters. I know you uh, go with this. I know you go with this. There's, there's, there's yeah, there's some in there, man. Oh shit. The, okay, so the types that we have in here, there's the there's the background black women, the ones that are just meant for you to just ogle and objectify and sexualize and just look at and get hard at. And if you're lucky, every now and then the titties gonna pop out, and you know they will. Get your ass up. Man, he Let's woke go. them up just to pull them titties oh, yeah, out. That's oh, it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Who was that? Uh, shit, I don't know. His homeboy, his homeboy. That's, that's random Probably. thug number two. Yeah, so, isn't that one of his homeboys? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one, one of his homeboys right crippled. there. Yeah. There's the tired black woman. Yeah. Oh, I show sure is tired. Yeah. <laughs> Played oh, by Viola Davis. Wow, Davis. Oh. Who, who made a career to playing tired yeah, black women sure for did. a little bit. But look at it right there. Oh, show sure is tired. It's going to be rough today. Yeah. She, and the, the thing well, is, what's that? What's it? She plays his grandmother, and she was only 10 years older than him. I know. I, I was like, I mean, I guess yeah. maybe, maybe that's what they say. His damn, grandmother? Yeah. Yes. I thought they played his mom. No. Oh, my no. God. I guess they're saying, damn, y'all have, have them quick, don't you? <laughs> well, them teenage pregnancies, shit. Boy, you're right, man. They, boy, they, they, they do be shuffling these black people yeah. around. No, they do. Uh, mm -hmm. No, Sorry. man. They put They're, her in a, in a wig with a little bit of gray in it. <laughs> yep. Did, now what, she's his grandmother. Wasn't she the mom and Antoine Fisher? The I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. Right, I know here, man, that, the, the, you know, there's the, you know, there's the, there's the type of the, of the tired black woman, man. Uh, you know, the thing with her, like every scene you see her in, 
you know, she 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 looks tired. Right. Yeah. Now, and, and to make her even look more tired than she already is, they always got a hunched over a, 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 a stove. I got a hunched over a sink. I can't take this. I'm going to do the laundry. Shit, even when she even when she's smiling, it yeah. just hurts. Mm -hmm. It was like Miss Sophia yeah. from uh, Color Purple. Yeah, yeah. She, like, like even yeah. smiling, it's just kind of like, he, he, he show is tired, show is hard to laugh. Mm -hmm. oh, he, he, he. Protect of a child who will one day die. Like, damn, you just killed the movie. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? We were having fun. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That dude just look like goddamn buzzkill, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, is your, is your wife always a downer like this? Yeah, I always like, like, like this man. Yes. <laughs> you need, you, you need to live with it. You need to divorce that bitch, man. <laughs> she killing my flow, man. <laughs> like, like hustling flow. Yeah. She <laughs> my flow, man. <laughs> and I, listen, I know we say the word bitch all the time, and I apply it to everything. I don't apply it to women, but you know, the, the way they use it right here, no, they mean you, to, when they look at women, you a bitch, all right? They they, they, they even disrespect a crack rock. I don't know if you remember this scene. What? They, they disrespect women and a crack rock at the same time by saying this crack, looking at women saying this crack rock looks like you, a bitch. See this? It's like a bitch, this bitch. This bitch will take your soul. Don't ever take the panties off of this bitch. People are like, I just want to smoke it. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna make love to it. You, you I, watching this scene? I was like, wow. They really thought this is gonna be quotable. That yeah. dialogue that, is terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, it's that terrible. dialogue. But they're thinking is like, this is gonna be like Alec Baldwin and, and Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, where people this gonna be did. saying this over <laughs> and over. It's like, no, nah, <laughs> this is stupid. It's terrible. I mean, it, not even it's, offensive. It's, it's, it's just bad. I mean, it's both. Don't ever take the panties off of this bitch. Man, this dude was getting hard. He rubbed yeah. his dick right now. Yeah, yeah. So when does the bitch come in? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, these dudes are getting horny. Look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take the panties off that I bitch. Know, I know, I'm going to do well, some One dude is horny. Another one's looking at him like, really? You got to go with, you gotta yeah. go with this? Yeah. <laughs> Adewale, man, the actor, he plays, a, he plays a guy named Majestic. And the thing is, Majestic, he got... He got uh, uh, Marcus into the business, you know. He, he sort of he's, he's his mentor, his pro, you know, and, and takes him in as a he takes Marcus in as a protege. Teach, teaches him the, the the work, teaches him the job, teaches him how to slay drugs and whatnot, how to hide in these streets. And, and uh, until later on, of course, when Majestic gets power hungry, and then all of a sudden, and it's predictable what happens here. Him and Marcus become enemies. Uh, the thing is, is that. Uh, this actor, man, out of Wale, whatever his name is, he's actually pretty good in part of the movie, man. It's one of those few movies where you have an actor who's doing a really great job and gets worse as they go along. Well, this is a movie where they like, all right, our lead can't act, but we will populate it with good, if not yeah. decent character actors. <laughs> Really but unfortunately, actor. we wrote terrible things for them to but say. Things, but yeah, not, yeah they can I would, only do so much. Yeah, I would actually no. say this scene right here where he first takes in Marcus, I would say this is actually pretty cool because the dialogue is not crazy. The dialogue is actually very sparse. And the acting, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot more, uh, uh, there's a lot more charisma with this actor in this particular scene that works for him. You know what you're gonna get out there, don't you? It's full of long, lonely nights. <laughs> you need anything else? A gun. Whoa, shit, that took a dark turn. He's like, wait, shit, I thought you were going to say a PlayStation or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you jump to a gun, okay. He's like, well, I don't know what else. You finish your food. You know what? Maybe I should put your ass back on the street. Yeah, 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 for real. You, you know what? Eat up and let's go. But <laughs> Eat up and let's go. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting scared <laughs> me right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so majestic. majestic man, who's uh, again? I, I'll try to read his name: Adewale Akinwe Agbaye. Okay, I messed that all up. Go. I'm sure. No, I'm, it sounded I'm, pretty good. I'm close, but I'm not there. Hey, Thing is, that thought he was again, good. No, no. <laughs> hell no, hell no. I'm looking at you like him. Hell no. Uh, but that character gets worse as it goes along because that character just becomes a cartoon. I man. know. Is it, now, is it the dialogue that gets worse as it goes along, no, or is it just him do, trying to elevate it? The dialogue, but what they do with the character. With the plot and oh, everything. Okay. They they take, yeah. Especially by the end, he's doing shit. You're like, wait, you've been you've been conniving and this smart up to this point, and now you're doing stupid shit? And now you're doing dumb shit. Oh. And yeah, and, and, and it's not, 
so much. This is because this is the kind of movie it is because they want to appeal to the hip hop people that come in. So it's just man, it's pretty much glorified hip hop beef. It's not that they're fighting over territory, uh, they're fighting over o- over resources of money. Now they fighting over goddamn rap careers. <laughs> oh, you you made a you made a diss track on me. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, he, he made a diss track apparently that is so powerful that it could take him down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this track I'm on this track. Yeah, yeah. At this point, y'all been using guns and actually killing each other. Yeah. But this this, this track is that's too much. <laughs> keep in mind, again, 50 Cent, he's a gangster but can't kill nobody. So he made the greatest diss track in the world that can apparently take this man down. And now he's just, this man's just irritated. He's just mad because because uh, because Marcus blew up so much that everybody's around him is singing his songs and he's like, ooh, he'll stop singing that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to hear that. Sing it all next to yeah, yeah. Oh, even, even people, they sing it and they, they looks at him and people are like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of catchy, though. I mean, come on. You, you can't blame me. <laughs> but that's it. He just, for the whole movie, he's just looking mad, <laughs> all pissed off. Big old eyes, yeah. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh my God, was I singing that? Oh shit. (laughs) And because this is a hip hop movie, like I said, man, you know it can't be it can't be about money and drugs and territory. No, it's it's about it's about music. That's what they fighting over. Because as soon as (laughs) because as soon as Majestic gets power, it's not about making strategy for what territories they're gonna control. It's about now I can now I can begin my real master plan. Hip hop record producer. Oh. <laughs> Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Yes. I will sit on the phone all day talking to no one while <laughs> counting my money. <laughs> counting <laughs> cash. <laughs> showing how much yeah. money I have. Right, right, right. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do in movies. On the phone yeah. talking to no one, just counting cash. Right. Out in the open. Yeah, 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 showing off cash and my jewelry. (laughs) (laughs) Getting nothing actually done. Hey, boss, what about the drugs? I'm not concerned with that right now. Right, right, right. What about the drugs? What about the studio? We gonna gonna have anybody record at all? We need a studio? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Shit, what about the drugs? What about these fat dope beats I got right here, bitch? <laughs> his priority is not seizing his territory so he can sell his product so he can, his empire can grow. His thing is, I'm going to put security guards in all of the of the record studios around town so that when Marcus and his bitch ass manager try to go get a contract, I can kick them right out. They walk in and that's the first thing they see. So now they're just kind of like, damn. Majestic won't even let us get a, a rap recording, man. It won't let us get a, a, a let us get a contract. It's like so. How many of these record studios is he manipulating around town? Sure. And does, is there no studio that wants to make money off of this since it's so hot? But no. But you, you gotta love that. Like, well, <laughs> we can't get a record deal. So I guess the only thing we can do is rob the Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> right. But the, yeah. Okay. So. It's only temporary, <laughs> though. <laughs> they're, they're thugs, they're thugs, right? And we can't get a record deal, so we're going to rob the Colombians. It's a dangerous deal. But they're afraid of the Pinkerton security. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. don't just push him out the way. <laughs> yes. So, so we're going to go do yes. this. He's yes. goddamn. That's why I'm laughing at this, because. Yes. You can't get past this one 45 year old white guy. Yeah. At, so we're going to rob the Colombians. Yeah, they don't even put no intimidating people. They got all these goddamn old ass Paul <laughs> Blarts up in here. Yeah, I saw him in here walking up. Yeah. Yeah, that dude walking up like, you know, like Scott Glenn. It's, it's my job to be yeah. here, but. Mr. Majestic says you must leave. <laughs> yeah, like these are like these are real henchmen. This yeah, right. motherfuckers just walked in from Long John Silver. Yeah, like, yeah. No, man, come on now. Yeah, they just they yeah. just took a segue from uh from Subway, man. Yeah. Get over like, here. You, you, you guys ain't tough. You're just tall. No, we know. Uh oh, shit! They from Securitas. Yeah. <laughs> man, you ever oh, heard of that shit. gang? <laughs> the Securitas. Shit, we got out of here. Bill Duke, man, he plays the black. Oh shit! Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Bill Duke plays the black kingpin. He's the only one I can understand less than Fifty Cent here. Oh wow! Because he's acting like he got got, got there. Now he wanted to sound like he got bronchitis. Hey man, who who is this little nigga right here? And I mean, and he's phoning. He, that's the thing. He's phoning this in so hard. He ain't got no emotions. Shit. He ain't got. He emailed it. He, just, yeah, oh, he ain't got no energy. Like I think he was the one that requested. I can barely talk. They try to make it seem like he got injured in the neck or something, but he just he just don't feel like delivering his lines. How you doing? Okay, yeah. Who's this? And what did he say? <laughs> 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 and what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> he 
what do you mean? Did you hear that? Well then, well then, my potato. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's almost like it's almost like somebody said, "Here's here. Take this big bite of oatmeal." Yeah. Action. You, I mean, I say, did you hear that? But you can't understand that. But you could have a scene going forever between the two of them where they can never hear each other. Yeah, <laughs> and you as an audience member, you're yeah. like, I got to turn subtitles on. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, yeah. <laughs> how you doing, man? I think I think he said, "How you doing, mashed potato?" <laughs> is, that, is that his name, man? No, it's what it is now. Oh, he's like, what the f is talking about? Yeah. You know, and I will say, My listen, 50, 50, 50 cents acting in this, I will say, it's not as bad as I remember. Now, I actually I actually thought that there were moments emotionally. You know, his his. You got to keep in mind too, his mouth. He got shot, so I know. I know there's a thing like at toward the end when you realize he got shot. You're yeah. like, okay, I guess it kind of explains. Yeah. it. I would say this: Fifty Cent is putting forth an effort that I really do appreciate. In some scenes, he does capture the emotion in it, man. You know, uh, for not being an actor at this point, you know, uh, uh, which is very clear a lot of times. Mister Kim, you you like a god dude. <laughs> even Ooh. those words hurt come out of his mouth yeah. right there. Even, yeah. even 50 Cent is like, God damn. You, you like God to me. Shit, did yeah. I? No, he's he, like, did I just say that? Yeah, but he goes, you like a Miss Bethane. God to me. Miss Bethane. Like he knew. He's like, I am this stuff yeah. right now as I'm saying. Yeah. I'm doing a terrible job. Miss Bethane. Somebody head. stop me. Miss <laughs> Bethane. Miss Bethane. Miss Bethane here. You like a God to me. Mr. Cam, you, you like a. God, dude. boy, God this, damn! Shit, this is what they call buckwheat syndrome. <laughs> My favorite is Terrence Howard, boy. Oh, Ter you, you gotta love Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard, see, the way Terrence Howard and Marcus, aka Fifty Cent, is more the way they meet is uh, he stick. Marcus ends up going to prison, of course, because he gets framed again for cocaine at a different time. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, cocaine is just not his thing, man. No, <laughs> just, again, just switch to another. Try something else, man. Try yeah. something else, man. He gets busted with cocaine again, but he saves him in prison because somebody wants him killed. And I, and I have to say, man, for this movie not being that great of a, of a film, there's some moments in here where I'm like, damn, that's actually kind of cool right there. There's a the scene where uh, Curtis Jackson or Mark is about to get murdered. It is the these guys that are in this scene, the guys that play the prisoner, they the prisoners here, they have to be the most confident people in their masculinity because it is, it is the most homoerotic murder attempt that I've ever seen and in one of the films. Clumsiest. And one of the clumsy, it's just ass and dicks just falling over each other. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Terrence Howard is always like, no, get off of me. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's over and over again. <laughs> he just comes in like, he like, like slaps and runs away. <laughs> I couldn't see what happened. Yeah. I, t I can tell you, it's just a bunch of ass cracks and dicks just falling over each other, man. Slipping and sliding all Ooh, over the place. Right over the hitting and it's like, oh, that's, that's Terrence Howard. Oh. He yes. just can't come over. Yeah, he's like, oh, get off of him. Oh, wow. I don't want none of that. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. And then he passes yeah. away. The guy's like, all right. And he goes back and yeah. he comes back over again. It's like, he comes over, he's like, <laughs> tag, you're it. <laughs> tag. But he does show his dick. Yeah. And, and he he showed dick and ass. Yeah, yeah. And I read that. Uh, 50 Cent talked him into doing it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and, and like I said, I got to admire these, uh, I got to admire these actors, man, because they, I mean, like over in that corner, yeah. that is just a pile of dicks and balls and ass. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, and, they're completely naked. Yeah, and they, I mean, I admire that. I'm not, I, yeah. you know, homophobia on my part, I admire these guys saying, no, yeah, too. I'm doing it. Yeah, they did it. Man, Terrence, Terrence Howard came in here and he made the movie good. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying uh, that he was just good. He actually made this like he made those scenes amazing. Well, it's one of these things where, you know, we'll laugh at Terrence Howard because he says a bunch of crazy shit. Yeah. But he is somebody who can come in and really elevate. take over a movie. Yeah. He can if elevate. not elevate it. He can make his presence known. And you're like, you know what? I'm enjoying this now. Right. I, I like watching you. The thing with Terrence Howard is he's a great actor. Yeah. He's a great actor, yo. And I actually, I love Terrence Howard. As much as I, you know, do the Terrence Howard voice and make fun of him, he's a wonderful actor. And just to prove that, he, uh, he came into this movie and actually made the movie very good by doing what Terrence Howard does best, being crazy. Mm -hmm. What you back there fidgeting for? Moving again. <laughs> God, damn, man, that's how, that's moving again.
Don't want the car. Yeah. Nate Dunn gonna satisfy this brother. Thing is, man, maybe I love this scene so much because I got relatives who would do this shit. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> I said, man, this is that's that this dude's related to me right now. Well, I love how in a movie that has been going on for a while, because it didn't come in until at least halfway through the movie. And it's got a bunch of crazy characters in there, but he managed to out crazy he, everybody. Man, he out crazies everybody, and it's and it's, it's right so there. much yeah, and it's so much fun to see. <laughs> what? There you go. You're still at it, man. You're still fidgeting. I don't like people moving behind me, sitting behind me, and shit. This motherfucker is crazy, man. Oh, I'll show you crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you pull over, man. I'm gonna talk about you. Yeah. When you pull over, shit. And now, now here's the thing. Now we all know, we all know that that Terrence Howard, Terrence Howard is ready to bring that knowledge. I've made some discoveries in my own personal life when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world. Now that logic right there that you saw, that you heard, again, what makes this movie amazing when he's in there, he brought that enlightenment and that logic <laughs> to this movie right here. Fidgeting, man, I'm right about him. I'm always right. It's like when I'm right, I'm right. And when I'm wrong, I could have been right. So I'm still right because I could have been wrong. That makes sense. You say, finally, somebody can understand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to say, man. See, he gets it. Yeah. <laughs> now, black. <laughs> and thing is, just like with Terrence Howard, he's going to keep going. And the more he goes, the crazier it's going to sound. It's like when I'm right, I'm right. When I'm wrong, I could have been right. So I'm still right, because I could have been wrong, you know? Terrence Howard don't even know that they're filming right now. Yeah, Terrence, right. Howard, Terrence Howard is trying to drop some philosophy on him right now. He, they just, the, the, shit, the, the director was just like, roll the camera, and he's talking that shit again. Yeah, also, it turned out he was right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when you right, you right. Was he right? He was right. He was Probably right. What, you know why he was right? Because he was wrong, but sometimes when he's wrong, he's right. And this time he was right because he was wrong. Yeah, was so, he wrong sometimes right when he's wrong, he could have been right. So that means he was right. What was he referring to? Because he was wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this thing just gets convoluted. It gets, it gets, uh, Terrence Howard is great in here. Like when Terrence Howard is on the screen, it is a good movie. And even him and, uh, and Curtis Jackson, 50 Cent, even when they're together, they're actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. chemistry. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, but the story is poorly written, man. It's just, it's just all convoluted and, 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 and repetitive. Uh, a lot of the movies, just the blacks and Colombians, you know, the different gangs just shooting each other. Yeah, but the, I mean, we shot the, the Colombians. The Colombians. Ha ha! ha. <laughs> Should kill me in the chest, yeah, bitch. Exactly. Should have shot me in the That's leg. Him, right? So often it was those same two Colombians. Yeah, they'd have a shootout. Then they meet. Well, that's the thing. They make so truce. what they do is they shoot each other, and then they make up. And just like that, the war ended. Yes, that. And then they go back to just shooting each other yeah. again. See, oh shit, he's coming after us. Oh now. shit! Oh, <laughs> five, six, yeah. seven, eight. And you black yeah. on the screen. I'm gonna get you too. Uh, but <laughs> that was a two-way mirror. Oh, fuck. Man, the reveals in this movie. The reveals in this movie. Those, like, those reveals that, uh, that when they get revealed, you're like, yeah, I figured that out back in, in scene number five. I figured that out a long time ago. And plus, they don't make no sense. So the big reveals are the silliest thing in the movie. All uh, and, and it all hinges on uh, Marcus's mama. I tell you, we tell you about Marcus's mama. Marcus's mama was in the drug game. She was dealing drugs and, uh, you know, she wasn't dealing drugs. She was out there beating up dudes that looked like Rick James. Rick James, look at mother. It is so crazy that he looks so much like Rick James that Curtis or uh, Marcus, when he's younger, he's, he just has bad dreams about Rick James <laughs> and his mom. <laughs> it's, it's a running theme. He's like, hey, you like Rick James? I don't. But Rick, Rick James killed my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who plays mom? Um, I forgot her name. Yeah, I forgot her name. But, uh, but so mom in the movie, mom uh, mysteriously dies. They don't show the killer, you know, but the killer's going and they, you know, he's covering his tracks. He's stomping on pictures of her and uh, and Mr. Big, whoever uh, Bill Duke is playing. Yeah, you see her beaten to death with her panties around her. You, yeah, knees. exactly. Yeah, so she just got raped or something and then was beat to death or choked out or something. Uh, thing is, man, early on in the movie, like early on in the movie, this is kind of like, uh, you start figuring out things. First of all, one of the things I didn't figure out was this one detail because it's just, 
it's stupid. It's too stupid to be to, to actually be that predictable. But uh, Bill Duke pulls a, a Darth Vader and says, "Yeah, I'm your father." When I first saw you, what'd you say? He's like, I don't even know if y'all heard any of that. I, I did. I, I didn't. I, I didn't. But I, I watched it, and honestly, that was the thing I figured out at the early part of the movie. He's a smart. Really? Yeah. See, I didn't because I thought y'all ain't gonna be that goddamn predictable. Like. Oh yeah, no, I was, I was like, I, I, I know this is what it is, and then he went away for so long. I was like, all right, I guess I'm wrong. But then when they come back to him, I was oh, like, oh, now okay. when he went to the jail, I was like, yeah, because after that, there was a whole lot of the things that happened. One is. I, you know, I, please tell me that you were trying to let us know. Please tell me you weren't trying to be slick because because Marcus is always talking about his mama and Majestic. And for some reason, every time Marcus talking about his mama, uh, Majestic's like, man, shut the f I don't hear that shit no more. It's like, oh, you killed her. Yeah, you yeah, killed yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Tell me again what happened then. I told you a million times though. <laughs> the minute you see him, you're gonna let me know, right? Yeah, those eyes don't look shady at all. <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of like, man, this dude man. killed yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, which leads to, which leads to a, a, a stupid ending, man. Because uh, I told you, man, now it's all about, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a diss track. It's a rap beef, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, track, it's, it's, it's the diss track that can destroy him if he doesn't stop this. So... Mark is about to do a, a, a concert where he will unleash this powerful diss track upon the world <laughs> and take down Majestic. So, you know, uh, Majestic tries to get to him. He comes in one last time and tries to get to him by whispering into his ear some shit that we already know, that he killed his mother. Give me a hug, man. And I'm killing and now, like, like, what was the purpose? Of yeah. that? Well, the funny what thing is, is that he told his, he told him that in this in this this this, this really villainous and proud way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'll kill your mom and I'll f the two, you too. You know, and but after that whole hardcore villainous moment, this bitch is sitting up here crying. I didn't mean to do it, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just it was an accident. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I you being hurt, man. I love that. I love you, man. I, oh, yeah. I love you, man. Right after you just said you and killed his mama, and all of a sudden, like, hey, man, we, we, we still friends, right? And you spent half the movie trying to kill me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fact, you, you showed up. You came here to kill me right now. You oh, came, man. you walked in the room and threatened me. Why are you bringing the bullshit? <laughs> you like five like, minutes ago. You only like come between us. Hey man, I'm so sorry. We, hey, it's cool, right? I'm, I'm in the sniveling part of the yeah, villain cycle yeah. right, right now. It's still alive, man. And and even though, don't diss me, this, please. This, <laughs> yeah, please don't unleash that diss track. Please, I'm begging you. This should be the one time that Marcus should be forgiven for killing this guy. Yes. If you please, for once, just do one gangster ass thing in your life, <laughs> kill this bitch right here. A regular you know, person would kill somebody. A regular person. You have to still like him at the end. Exactly. You have to recognize that he might be a gangster, but he's not a killer. No, he's not a killer. Oh, he's he's shit. one of us. Yeah. He was he was he was a victim of circumstance. Yes, we Sweet still have to like him. So, who does it? Oh, crazy ass Terrence. Yeah. I got a sword. <laughs> boy, he was, boy, he was confident in that sword. Well, you talk about some James Bond shit. Yeah. That's, that's always a thing with with these these low level thrillers where we we got the the bad guy. He's going to jail, but yeah. he's got to make that one last. He got to wait that one last move right there. <laughs> boy, he was confident in that sword. Uh -huh. Hey, I got a sword. Hey. Even if he did get to him, he wasn't gonna survive. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. Someone's gonna shoot his ass. And that and and you know what? And that's the thing, man. Terrence Howard does not shoot him once, but several times.
And I tell you, that green room must have some <laughs> amazing yeah. soundproofing because yeah. yeah. no. no one heard that shit. No. It's a whole concert out there. No one heard one gunshot. I mean, unless it's one of these things where these shootings happen at rap concerts all the time. Yeah. So nobody's, yeah. everybody flinches. Yeah. Everybody's just looking at each other like, hmm, yeah. what happened? Yeah. yeah. It's not like it was somewhere I, else. So. I was wondering when it was going to start. Yeah. <laughs> they were I, I guess the show's about to start. They were kind of like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I thought it was going to be a boring ass show. But I was like, wow, just murder in front of everybody with a concert about to start out yeah. there. And the the main star is just going to go on stage. Yeah. Like, nothing so, happened. So he the, he looks at the end of the, of the movie. He looks in the mirror and says some deep shit. Well, he's he proud of that. I've been looking for my father all my life. I realized I was looking for myself. And the new me was being born. Yeah, that's some good shit. Mm-hmm. Got to put that in a song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then. No, no, he, no. And, then he, I'm about, though. and then he walks out on stage. Let me see if I got it right here. And then this fool walks out on stage. And while there's a dead body <laughs> on the floor backstage, bloody, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. spilling blood everywhere, he just goes out and just does a concert like nothing ever happened. There's blood on that. You might want to watch yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just and and then he just takes us into the credits. Yeah, again, like nothing happened. As if nothing. What's up? Hope y'all enjoyed the show. <laughs> I know there. There you I know go. There. He takes his shirt off and goes, yeah, little, little evidence for my fans. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't kill nobody. He went to hold on to that. Oh. a big deal. Now, what, you know what, what I really love, what I really love about this, again, the show that Jim Sheridan just, you know, he just thought we were, we were all killers. You know, mm-hmm. he, I love that the way Terrence Howard is at the end of the movie is portrayed as the hero where an hour and a half earlier at the beginning of the movie, this fool was ready to kill a kid. Where's the money? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, if 50 hadn't jumped in there, he would have shot that kid in the face. What but do, but hey, at the end of the day, he saved the day. Hey, well, he was willing to do what needed to be done. Yes. At and, the time. And, <laughs> yep. Which makes him a hero. And hey. The kid didn't come about that money, man. He should have told him yeah. what it was. But hey, you know, because hey, of- I asked you twice. Because of Terrence Howard, you know Terrence Howard really is a hero. Because of him, 50 cents, he got to move on and get rich and not I die, die trying. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> shit. As you can see, Fair, to be fair, has some has some good moments in it, man, mainly because of certain performances. But Jesus, man, I'm so, uh, you know, this, this is why, again, representation is important mm-hmm. and if it, you know in this movie th- uh, this, this movie was made because this is the way hollywood defined us back in the day oh, absolutely. by our comedy our foolishness our violence our pain and this was a way for them to cash in and you, you know if, if jim sheridan had made a movie about irish gangsters it wouldn't have been cartoonish like this wouldn't have <laughs> had none of this shit in no it. no 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 so anyway <laughs> <laughs>